Welcome to Balham. Well, I think you'll find it's actually Balham, Gateway to the South, made oh. famous by a Peter Sellers song. And we are going to be featuring some of the lyrics from that throughout our visit today. Balham has the Northern Line and National Rail Services to where, Marcus? To Victoria. Ah. So it is very well linked up transport wise, and there are lots of buses as well that will get you into central London because we're not really that far we're away. Not. Well, the song Bellham, Gateway to the South, was to parody the cinematic travel logs, which looked at exotic locations in the 1950s and 60s after the austerity of the Second World War. Now, of course, Balham was anything but exotic. Maybe it's a little bit more so today. Let's take a look. Well, I lived in Balham twice yes. over the past 20 years, and it was one of the first places that Paul came to when he visited me. And you have many fond memories of a Christmas here, don't you, Paul? Oh, yes. I remember coming out on Christmas Day and going to Woolworth, of all places. No, that's a blast from the past. And in actual fact, I believe that the Woolworth you're talking about is now the Aldi local over there. Oh, wow. And it was also a time when you had a very bad habit of smoking. And I think we were so drunk on that Christmas Day that I was actually smoking a cigarette myself you were. outside Woolworths here on Ballam High Street. Ballam High Road, actually. Oh, no. <laughs> yes, it just, it's all coming back to me now. Um, the place has changed a bit. I can still see there's a Sainsbury's and there's a Boots, um, but there's now a Waitrose as well, and that wasn't oh. there in my day. Lovely. And that's where we're heading next. Well, I did say that Waitrose wasn't here in my day, but there was a supermarket on this spot, and it was Safeway, which no longer exists. Balham, a gateway to the south. We enter Balham through the verdant grasslands of Battersea Park and at once we are aware that here is a land of happy, contented people who go about their daily tasks in truly democratic spirit. This is Busy High Street, focal point of the town's activities. Note the quaint old stores whose frontage is covered with hand-painted inscriptions. Everyone a rare example of native Balham art. And so the long night draws on. The last stragglers make their way home and the lights go out one by one as dawn approaches and the bell of St. Quill's Parish Church tolls 10 o'clock. Balham sleeps, and so we say farewell to this historic borough with many pleasant memories. 
this is the farmer's market that I remember when Marcus did live in Balham for a short period of time. I remember distinctly all these stalls and all these sellers selling different produce and different products. So I think it's worth a visit if you're here on the weekend. Well, Balham was one of the many tube stations that were used as air raid shelters during the Second World War. And sadly, during the Blitz, a bomb landed above the station here and more than 60 people lost their lives. Thank you for watching our show today. If you like what you see, then please like, comment, and subscribe. Keep watching. Welcome to Clapham Common. Now, this is an interesting station on the Northern Line because it is one of only two stations that have island platforms. And we've come at a very good time because you can see there is a train going northbound and a train going southbound and we're standing right in the middle. Well, I do love the outside of Clapham Common Station. It's one of those dome-type tube stations. There's one at uh, Kennington as well. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, although I think the dome was actually used and still actually still is used as the lift shaft there. There's no lift at Clapham Common. There is an escalator. Let's have a little look around the area. To the picture house over here. Well, it's one of my old haunts of the days when I did go to the cinema and I lived in this area. I would... You used to come here? I used to come here, yes. Oh, wow. Yes, yes. I saw many great movies here. I couldn't name any of them. But, um... <laughs> well, I mean, it's 20 years ago. What do you expect? I can hardly remember what happened 20 minutes ago. Never mind 20 years ago. Well, of course, Clapham Common Station is named after the green space of Clapham Common itself and I can remember one time I went to one of the Pride events there I think it was actually Summer Rites and Clapham Common does have a bit of a reputation I suppose oh, what? of being a, a meeting place I suppose you could say not that I ever did that myself Well, when I used to come out to Clapham, the two brewers was one of my haunts. In fact, there used to be loads of gay boozers around this area. But as far as I know, the two brewers is the only one that still exists today. So I think we ought to just go in, pay homage, and maybe have a little drinky to 
set us on our way. Okay. And just to finish off the show, we decided to walk up to Clapham North because we can show you the other island platform. And I see the train coming, so I think it's time to say bye-bye. See you next time. Bye-bye.